guys? So I'll make this intro quite a quick because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So I feel like that's what it's going to be. But this is basically just going to be a breakdown of Kill Shot for a lot of people that don't understand how crazy this song was and how detrimental it is dissing Eminem to your career. So basically, I might do a review of the Charlemagne the God interview, the Breakfast Club interview with MGK because that, that whole interview is just cat, man. I mean, MGK couldn't be more bullshit. I mean, that guy, he talks about how Eminem's album is trash, man. He released that song, that Binge album. That's like the worst album I've ever heard in my life, man. He had another diss track on there that no one even knows about to Eminem. It's, it's just terrible. <laughs> I mean, you can't diss Eminem without just getting absolutely played, man. He just looked like a complete fool. So I'm going to try to break this down for you guys pretty, pretty thoroughly. And hopefully you guys like it. When I first heard the song, it was about three years ago, guys. And literally, greatest song of all time. It currently has f nearly 400 million views on it. And just absolutely insane, insane number of um, views and comments and likes. People love this song, guys, because it just kills MGK. So, alright guys, I'll give you my thorough breakdown of this. Hopefully, I get most of the bars here. But if I don't, don't sue me, guys. But I should get most of the bars here. So, let's go. <laughs> you sound like a bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up, you so, man. Yeah, so an MGK song, kill, um, MGK song, Rap Devil, you know, that song was probably the best song MGK has ever done in his life. Apart from that one where he's in the hood, Cleveland, whatever, Till I Die, that's a kind of okay song, but every other song MGK has done is just trash, right? He says he sold 20 million albums, the guy has barely sold six, like, you know what I mean? It's like fucking, he's like a denier, it's, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a fucking Holocaust denier or something, he's like denying, bro, like, these aren't facts, man, the guy is, he's just cap, like, he's just wrong about fucking what he's saying, so... This song is completely just a straight reply to basically Rap Devil, which MGK, which Eminem has a background in actually rap beefs like. He does like on stage rap beef, so he just kills me this, man. It's, it's pretty embarrassing. But um, MGK says in the song, you sound like a bitch, and Eminem's just basically replying to that. It's become your haters. You done? Yeah, so MGK said that Eminem was his biggest inspiration ever, and he was his biggest fan. Beard's yeah. weird. Right. Right. He's just basically mocking him here because, like, he says stuff like, your beard's weird, like, the worst insult of all time. Like, just shit fucking insult, man. I swear. <laughs> this song, oh, man. He killed MGK so bad in this, this song that MGK switched a genre of music. He doesn't even do rap music anymore. He does like kind of like punk music and love kind of music. He just he doesn't do rap songs anymore. He doesn't do hardcore rap shit anymore. So you know what I mean. That says a lot about what he did to him. So weird, weird. doing this once. Yeah, Rihanna just hit me on a text. <laughs> so he says that he wanted to get with Rihanna, but she wouldn't get with him. Next. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. <laughs> Wait, you just dissed me. I haven't heard the song in like. A couple months. I used to listen to the song every single day, literally every single day for a workout, because this song just is insane. But you know, it's one of the best ever. I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line. Compliment me on the next damn. Yeah. So in, in every single line in uh, Rap Devil, he would like compliment Eminem, say, "Yeah, you're the greatest life," but fuck you, dude. Your beard's weird. But like, dude, like, why are you complimenting him and then just insulting him? Like, it's just it's kind of stupid. Like, I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. He's watching 8 Mile on my Nauta track, realized I forgot- Guys, when this beat drops, I freaked out. When I, I first listened to the song, I was, I was on Twitter, and I just saw MG, uh, Eminem releases Kill Shot. I'm like, da, this isn't it. I thought it, I thought it was a fake, because Dax released a bunch of songs before, and a lot of different people released fake responses. And when he dropped this, man, bro, Twitter just blew up. Like, I remember for like, I remember for like a week, YouTube, I remember, it's, it's not a comment, it's like the top comments, like, remember when YouTube, like, uh, uh, broke? Cause literally everyone was just talking about the song. It was insane, like. But he says here he's watching Eight Miles Norda track. He says uh, he's watch. You know he says he's never gone back home to Eight Mile, but he's watching his own movie that he got an Oscar for on his Norda track. And he says he run. M MGK said you only run eight. Mi the only time you see Eight Miles is at home on your treadmill. But a Norda track treadmill is like a super expensive treadmill. They're like fucking six grand for a treadmill. Like it's super even twenty grand for a treadmill. So he's like mocking him, saying yeah. That's because I live at fuck. That's because I have like all this money, man. You know what are you talking about, bro? This, bro, this song. You guys don't even know, man. <laughs> this song is insane, dude. Dude, bro, it's stop, uh, bro. Got to call you back. 
Yes. People, people that say that MGK is rap devil's business, you're retarded. You don't know anything about rap. You don't know anything about rap. It's a good song. It's like a two. Eminem is like out of ten. It's a ten, man. It, this song is fucking. He says that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. Daughter track. Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. Jesus Christ. He says um he's mocking him, saying that he's Stan. Stan, Stan, son, listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? Facts. Facts, man. He's trying to act tough and shit, but he has a man bun. Like, come on, bro. Giant smoke, eyes open, undeniable. Supply and smoke, got the fire stoke. Say you got me in a scope, but you grazed me. I say one call the inner scope, and you're crazy. He said that he can kill him easy, but, you know, one call to Interscope, that's the same label that Eminem and MGK are on. If he gives one call to Interscope, you know, the head, Jimmy Iovine or whatever, he'll get him wiped off. He'll get him Swayze. Swayze died, you know, he got ki uh, he died uh, of pancreatic cancer, but he he'll kill him, basically, is what he's trying to say. Like, <laughs> Your reply got the crowd yelling, woo, so before you die, let's see who can out Petty oh. who with your corny. He's saying that he got the crowd yelling, woo, before you die, everyone's about to kill him, man. You know, who, who can out Petty who? Like, because he... he Man, he brought these, like, corny, petty fucking, like, I mean, just petty-ass fucking uh, insults out. Like, it was just, it was just so sad, man. Seeing he's old and shit, it's just like, bro, what are you talking about, you know? Yeah, so his last, so Eminem, uh, Eminem's worst album has sold, I think, three times or ten times as much as MGK's best-selling album of all time. So who's better, guys? You know, I'll let you guys decide that one. Twenty nine, I had three albums that it blew. Now let's talk about some I don't really do. Go in someone's daughter's mouth, stealing food. But you're a fucking molehill. Now I'ma make a mountain out of you. Ho chill. Man, he's he's uh, <laughs> he says he's gonna now he doesn't want to make a big deal out of it. He's, he's gonna make a fucking massive deal out of this shit now, man. Um, because he wants to kind of keep it kind of low key, like not really. He didn't want to insult him and shit because every time Eminem insults someone, they get way more famous. You know, that's how famous Eminem is. So, um. By 29, he had three albums that have blue, you know, by his age, you know, Eminem was like blown up already. He was like old, already ultra famous by 29. Daughter's mouth stealing food, but you're a fucking molehill. Now I'm gonna make a mountain out of you. Ho chill, acting like you put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow. Gonna bitch, you ain't a bow and arrow. Say you'll run up on me like a phone bill. Spraying lead, playing dead, that's the only thing. <laughs> he's making fun of his name, you know, he's, he's saying he's a machine gun. He's not even a bow and arrow, man. He's, he's, he's got no or nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Time you hold still. Are you eating cereal or oatmeal? What the fuck's in the bowl, milk? Wheaties or Cheerios? Alright guys, this video is gonna be so long, so I have to explain everything. But in the video, he's like eating like cereal or some shit. He's saying that he's eating a bowl of M and M's with milk or something. That's what he said, but that's cap because you can clearly see in the bowl that he's eating like Wheaties or some shit, <laughs> Cheerios. Like, MGK just lies about everything, man. It's just so weird. The guy, the dude, is like so strange, man. The guy just lies about everything, literally, like. Cause I'm taking a shit in them Kelly, I need reading material Dictionary Yo Slim, your last four albums suck Go back to recovery Oh shoot, that was three albums ago What do you know? Yeah dude, he says his last four albums suck But recovery was three albums ago And that, that album blew Like that album was like the biggest album of all time And he got the albums wrong Like he didn't even know what he was talking about oh, Oops, know your facts before you come at me little goof Luxury, oh you broke bitch, yeah I had enough money in O2 To burn it in front of you, ho Younger me, no, you don't whack me Oh man, that burn is just shocking Man, I love that Burma. He's got enough money in O2 to burn it. Like, he, he like, and then he says he's a younger. He says that he's a younger him, but nah, he's just a whack. He, he wants to be him, but he's not. Man. It's get. I had it. And this is the greatest this of all time, in my opinion, in any rap song ever. It's so sick. Enough money in O2 to burn it in front of you, ho. Younger me, no, you don't whack me. It's funny, but so true. I'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you. Tell him hitting O2. Dude, when I first heard that, I fell off the fucking couch, man. I was like, God. Like, he just killed him right there, man. He'd rather be, that's an old Jay-Z line as well, you know, he says, I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you. Like, dude, that, that's epic shit, man. Age, still can fill a whole page with a 10-year-old's rage. Got more fans than you win your own city, little kitty, go play. Feel right. like I'm babysitting low day. Got the ditty, okay, so you stitch a whole day. Shooting a video just to fucking dig your own grave. Got to get your own way. Said he had to get permission from Diddy to, to do this, but, you know, I think Diddy hates Eminem, but fuck P. Diddy, honestly, you know what I mean? If he's if he's like dissing them, uh, it's just stupid. Like. I'm the Philly goat. You ain't never made a list. Next to no Biggie, no J. Next to Taylor Swift and the Iggy Ho. You about to really? He says you know Eminem's rated like the top five, obviously, and uh, he's rated next to people like Iggy Azalea and shit rappers like that. So. Hello, Kelly. They'll be putting your name next to John, next to Benzino. Time, motherfucker. Hey. Like the last motherfucker saying alien vein, alien. 
Yeah, so whoever made fun of Haley, like his daughter, he would always kill him, like Ja and Benzino. It's like a classy example, those two guys, so. In brain, fitness, yeah. my biggest flaps are your greatest hits. The game's As I said before, you know, his, his biggest album was Eminem's worst album. Was Eminem's album's like three times better than Eminem's biggest album, so. But then Eminem's worst album. Not again, and ain't nothing changed but the lock, so before I slay this bitch, I'm gonna give Jay a kiss. Gotta wake up Labor Day to this. That song was released on Labor Day in America. And I remember listening to it, I was like, oh, what the fuck is he talking about? And that song that MGK released was on Labor Day. And uh, it's just fucking sweet, like. Being rich shamed by some prick using my name for clickbait in a state of bliss because I said his goddamn name. Now I got a cop back aim. Yeah, bitch, pop champagne to this. Uh, it's your moment. This is it. As big as you're going to get. So enjoy it. Had to give you a career to destroy it. Man, the funny thing is about that, he actually, Eminem was right. The biggest time for his career, his most sales up to this far, even because this is three years later knowing this now, that was MGK's biggest moment in his career. Like, he hasn't been bigger since that. You know what I mean? Deep so. injection, go to sleep six feet deep. I'll give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, Damn. you look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Think a boss like to get on Dude, to I me. Love that. He's just roasting me, man. He's getting pissed off, you know what I mean? He's like, because MGK said you're really short or something. MM's like 5'9 or 5'10 or whatever, 5'8. But like, who gives a fuck about height, man? That's some petty bullshit. Like, he was like, you're f <laughs> he said, if I was 3 foot 11, you'd look up to me. You know, ah, oh, dude, this song is just real central, man. Like, he said he'd suck a dick for him to be a, for him for a fucking second. Facts, man. I'm sleep six feet deep. I'll give you a beat for the effort. But if I was 3 foot 11, you'd look up to me. And for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Like to get on my channel, give your life to be a solidified. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets. So we're good as a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo. So this shit's crazy, man. Like I like grew up with them. I watched Rambo when I was 11 years old, and dude, like I don't know if you guys remember what this is. A lot of people wouldn't get this reference. I don't even see, I didn't even see this reference on Rap Genius for some reason. You know they're not really big Rambo fans, but he says in this. That Rambo went out of bullets. At the end of the first Rambo, when Rambo runs out of, he's like running around with the M60 around the city and he's shooting up the place. When he runs out of that ammo, when he runs out of his, you know, power, we'll say, um, he starts crying like crazy. So it's basically trying to show his character that when he's, you know, down and beaten, he just turns into a little fucking bitch. You know what I mean? And when he doesn't have shit going on, you know, when he's on his own, when he's out of ammo, he starts, you know, Rambo starts crying at the end of the movie. He's like, you know, oh, he's like crying like a fucking, you know, whatever. Um, I love Rambo though, so fuck him, but fuck him, GK. But he's like saying that he, that's what he's like when he's out of ammo. He just turns into a little bitch, like. <laughs> this motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets, so we're good as a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo. Had enough of this tatted up mumble rapper. How the fuck can him and I battle? He'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals, cause Dude, every, every single line, he's just roasting like. He's a, he's a tatted up mumble rapper. <laughs> He knows as long as I'm shady, he's gonna have to live in my shack. Exhausting, letting off on my offspring like a gun barrel. Bitch, get off me. You dance around it like a sombrero. We can all see your fucking salty, cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey. Yeah, so like, um, M MGK had big beef with J uh, Gerald. Young Gerald, who you guys know as G Easy. You know, three three white rappers going out of here, but basically, uh, G Easy hates fucking MGK as well. They actually put up a picture together when this was released and I'm just giving them a, a middle finger to both of them because MGK's a fucking pussy and like Jeezy's a legend. Je I love Jeezy, you know, I saw him live. Um, but he was like, um, MGK says that he's banging Jeezy's girl or something. But he didn't, uh, he, said, he said that he did in that interview. But, you know, if he did it, who gives a shit? You know, who cares? Like, um, but, you know, he's mad because uh, <laughs> he's fucking, he's getting with his girl or something. But, you know what I mean? Who gives a shit, really? Like, you dance around it like a sombrero. We can all see your fucking salty. Cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey. Your red sweater, your black leather. You dress better, I rap better. Dude, I love that, baby. He's like saying, cause MGK is like, you know, you're like me, but I'm better because I dress better. He's like, motherfucker, like, you dress better, I rap better. Like, who gives a shit about dressing better? Like, he's talking, I'm the best rapper. Like, this is about rap music, <laughs> not about. Not about how better you dress, you know what I mean? It's just real stupid, like, I love it, man. He says, is that a death threat or a love letter? Because you don't know, because he's like, this in one minute, and then he's like, praise in the next minute. It just makes no sense, man. That a death threat or a love letter? Little white tooth pick thinks it's over a pick. I just don't like you prick, thanks for dissing me. Uh, MGK is, you know, skinny as fuck, and he says he thinks it's over a pick, like, he thinks it's over 
some picture he's not MGK is wrong he said that he attacked him because he Eminem did something but he's not at all it's just stupid you know? now I had an excuse on the mic to write not a like but really I don't care who's in the right but you're losing the fight you pick who else won it Kells button fails button else bro I love that man he says who else wants who else wants him he said MGK who's who's Kells his attempt failed Budden L's Joe Budden's fell. Joe Budden got the L as well. He lost that. Uh, says, oh bro, it's just fucking that. It's just so sick. Fucking nails in these coffins that softest. Now kill shot of them not fail. I'm with the duck still, but this idiot boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills. But kills and he's saying he's with Dr. Dre still, but um, MGK's boss, who's P Diddy, pops pills and tells him he's got skills. Man, that shit is. That's just crazy. The day you put out a hit, the day Giddy admits that he put the hit out, they got pop kill, eh? I'm sick of you being whack and still using that motherfucking auto tune, so let's talk about it. I'm sick of your mumble rap mouth, need to get the cock about it before we can even talk about it. Yeah, MGK kept saying, let's talk about it, you know what I mean? Let's talk about it. He just keeps saying that after every line, like, so what do you do now? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Bro. Sticking your blonde hair and earrings just cause you look in the mirror and think that you Marshall Mathers. Yeah, basically Eminem just, everyone just copies Eminem's style. Everyone just copies Eminem's style nowadays, you know. It's pretty, it's pretty tough to hate on the guy that you copied and loved for years. I mean, I don't know. Don't mean you are and you're not about it, so just leave my dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out. You fucking you. Oh. And I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. And then he says in the end, he actually loves Diddy, P. Diddy. So, anyway guys, I just wanted to make that video actually only 16 and a half minutes long, not that long. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than that. I thought it was going to be like half an hour. So that is a thorough breakdown of Kill Shot for you guys. I'm pretty sure I got 99% of everything in there. Love you guys all. Hope you guys like that breakdown of Kill Shot. Like, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. New videos, two videos a day, rap videos, uh, lots of different uh, content as well coming hopefully soon. So love you guys all, and I'll check in with you guys soon. Peace.